Rural comedy now on Anglia in Uprising. What is it? Nothing, I just... I thought you might be dead. What? What time is it? Eight. Oh, eight. Eight? Eight? Eight o'clock, good God! What is it? What's the hurry? It's eight o'clock! I'll be... Uh... Good God. I thought I'd missed the 7.24. Oh. Well, oh. now you're up. Could you make the tea? Music's not bothering you, is it, Martin? No, no, I'm quite fond of Wagner. Oh, really? I noticed a poster outside the village shop earlier. There's an open-air recital of German romantic songs and arias in the gardens of Bitcombe Hall. Yeah, that's right. They, they do that every year. It's uh, tonight, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'd like to have gone along, but well, I'm working in the pub. It's uh, folk night. <laughs> Oh, hello there. Lovely music. Brahms, isn't it? Wagner. Ah, of course. <laughs> Maybe you're the man I'm looking for, Mr. Kegworthy. Oh, yes? Well, you see, there's an open-air recital of German romantic songs and arias in the gardens of Bickham Hall tonight. Is that so? You're not free by any chance, are you? Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Then would you mind the Papa Martin? Just for a couple of hours. Uh, delighted. I'm going to the superstore. Anything you fancy? Mm -hmm. Oh no. I thought you were going to mow the lawn. I am. I'm just checking out the weather. Taste a little tart. Mm. Don't burn your tongue. Happy birthday, Justin. Oh. Thank you. Come on. You and I are going to take a little walk into the fields together. Oh. Splendid. <laughs> it's ingenious, eh? Marvellous. <laughs> anyway, uh, as you know, it's folk night tonight. Go day day, Christus Natus, ex Maria Virgin, a go day. Yes, that sort of thing. <laughs> you know, I am sure that the bloke with a beard out of Steel Eye Span is the same one as in the Joy of Sex books. Yes, I, I, I don't know Steel Eye Span, I'm afraid, Terry. <laughs> anyway, I was thinking that it might be nice to have a bit of a get together. You know, members of the action committee enjoying a pint with traditional music at the hub of the community, the village inn. Yeah, why not? I can get Maxine to make some sarnies. Sandwiches? Where am I going to get sandwiches from now? Well, I thought you could make them. Make them? I wonder about you sometimes, Terry Gaines. I'm not going all the way to Mark's. Well, have you got something in the freezer? I'll have a look. But I'm telling you now, I'm not spending my whole Saturday night handing out mini Kievs in that pub. If we go, we're going to have a laugh, OK? OK, fine. Oh, God. It's so powerful. I can feel it going right through me. I think that's just the rumble from the flyover. Justin, I thought you'd enjoy this. A picnic on a ley line on your birthday. Just the two of us. No, I'm sorry. I'm just a bit preoccupied. With what? Well, it occurred to me this morning. It occurred to me for the first time ever, really. But I'm the last one. The Winterman line stops here. Right here, me. I'm a kind of genetic high barnet. 
Unless I have children. <laughs> oh, Justin, you've got plenty of time to have children. After all, you're only 33 today. Yes. You didn't bring that tantric sex manual, did you? No. I didn't think it'd work on a ley line. Somewhat ironic. Three firm pulls will fill the glass and leave a nice head. <laughs> oh, <it was> perfect. <laughs> but you'll have to uh, pull off two or three pints first, though, to get rid of the stale beer and detergent in the pipes. Right. This is Tom's tankard. Don't charge him, you just keep a record of how much he drinks and let him know when he's entering double figures. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh! Hello. Hello, Harriet. My, don't you look lovely. <laughs> I never realised you had such wonderful big... hair. Voluminous, I mean, not big. <laughs> Would you like a drink? Well, that's very kind, Ronald. But I don't think we have the time. Yes, yes. Of course. Well, off you go, then. And remember, Martin, you're in safe hands. Now it's time for Ready, Steady, Blair. And that's what our parents are going to do when they... Ah, monsieur. But with your cream ons, you are really spoiling us. So it's over to our... Oi! Lay off them cream ons. They're arranged. You're not going out like that, are you? Don't be stupid. Haven't done my hair yet. What is that, a hose pipe? What, this? I'm surprised you noticed, Terry. You haven't noticed anything I've worn recently. Ah, oh, good evening, sir. Ah, you must be Tom. <laughs> my name's Ronald Kegworthy. And in Martin's absence, I'm your host for the evening. Ah. Oh. Now, what'll it be, Tom? Bitter, unless he wants wind accompaniment. I ain't farted yet, but I'll fart like Billy O if I goes on to lager. <laughs> Bitter it is then. <laughs> Look at you, you can hardly walk in that skirt. Well, it's lucky we haven't got to go far then, isn't it? Hello, Sally. Goodness, I feel a little underdressed. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> underdressed? What are you talking about, Sal? I saw you pick up a pint of milk yesterday, knee-length boots and skin-tight trousers. And you had a whip in your hand. I suppose I did. Yes. <laughs> she just got off her horse, Terry. Living in the city. Ah, oh, Maxine. Terry. Darling. There you go. Oh. Now, uh, what can I get for you? Um, vodka and tonic, please, Ron. Large one. What about you, sir? Oh, large G&T, please. You know what you get like on vodka? Yes, I do. That's why I'm drinking it. Terry, bitter, please, Ron. Bitter. Right now. Here's one for the lovely young lady over there. What's your name, darling? Maxine. Then I shall call you Maxie. I heard a car once called a Maxie. She went like the clapper she did. <laughs> when a man grows old, and his balls get cold And the end of his knob turns blue if we join you? Um, no, not at all, please. But as now, she took it well and looked him straight in the eyes. There we are, Terry. Stop. With the utmost score. Ronald, mm -hmm. taste that. That is revolting. Exactly. Would you like something else? What about a bottle of ale? Yes, sir. Another drink, Sal? Absolutely. Blimey, has everything passed its sell by date here? What? What? I'll risk the lager. Come here, my darling. Oi, cheeky. <laughs> 
No, no, I don't think so. Oh, don't worry. I've only got my harmonica in my pocket. <laughs> you can have a blow on it later if you like. <laughs> Look, it's my birthday today. Oh, oh happy, happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> so why don't we all go back to the hall for a drink? Um, that would be lovely. Yeah. <clears throat> but surely you should get back to the pub to relieve Mr Kegworthy before closing. Yeah, time. yeah, I, I should. And let's all go back to the pub. Lovely. Oh. Oh. Justin, can you drop me off at the hall? Oh, well, we don't have to go back to the pub if you don't want to. No, no, no. You go. I want you to. But don't be late. Itsy bitsy teeny, we hands on hips now. Yellow, Yellow polka dot bikini that she wore on You're the first time. Good. Thanks. I used to be a dancer. Yeah, once upon a time. Couldn't keep your hands off me in those days, could you, Terry? Oh, Maxine, will you drop it? You're embarrassing Sally. No, I'm not. Am I, sir? Not at all. But Ronald's looking a little flustered. I do think we should consider the other customers. Good night. Thank you so much. For heaven's sake, Ronald, this is folk night. I thought you said that's what folk music was all about. Camaraderie. Community. Joining in. Yeah! Come on, Ron, join in. Come on, Tom, Mum, you... Ooh. I think he's got a bit overexcited. Oh, I was just sitting on his lap. All right, I think you've had enough, son. Haven't you got home to go to? He's nodded off. God knows how. Oh, God, I never want to get old. Mm. It isn't because he's old. It's because he's... I'm really, really sorry, Martin. I feel so sorry. Oh, don't worry. It doesn't matter. I mean, no one ever checks this spare tyre. You're not alone. But you really can't drive on it. But it'll take hours to walk. Come on. No, it's miles. No, it's not. It's only over there. One minute he was feeding me up and the next minute he said I could have a go on his harmonica. He hasn't got a bloody harmonica. Yes, he has. This is your fault, Maxine. I told you not to wear that skirt, wriggling about on his knee like that. What are you playing at? It's too tight for a woman of your... What? Social standing. Age. You were going to save a woman of my age. Yes, I was. You're making a spectacle of yourself. Why, because I like to look sexy? Just because you think I'm past it, Terry, doesn't mean to say I am. I don't think you're past it, but when are you going to understand that it will take more than a thong to persuade me we should have another child? Maxine, Terry, please. Some decorum. Respect. Yes, Terry. Respect. I'm going home. Bye, Tom. Here, Max, I did... I'd better leave her to it for a bit. Martin will be here in a minute. He knows about these things next of kin, where he lives. Awful. To die among strangers. Mm. I'll just go and see if Maxine's all right. Well, I'd better go and get Dr. Weston. He never liked doctors when he were alive, so he won't want one now he's dead. And I'm gonna find my Land Rover. When I be back, if there be a doctor here or he be moved. So, what did you study at Cambridge, Martin? Law, as a matter of fact. No. Yeah. Really? Mm. Did you pack it in? No, I got my degree. What did you get? I got a first. Um, as I'm sure you did. I hope you don't mind me asking, but... with a first in law from Pembroke College, Cambridge, how did you end up as a gardener in Rising? Um... 
Well, because I, uh, I realized that that's what made me happy. You know, being in the countryside, no stress. I'm amazed. Why? I mean, that's why you've come out to Rising, isn't it? To get away from the stress. The only difference is that you still think you have to keep going back to it. Fresh air doesn't pay the bills. Bills? What bills? There. That's Rising, just over there. I don't know what's taking Martin so long. Look, you don't mind, do Nah. I doubt the atmosphere at home will be any better. Come on. Let's have a drink. Drink? What about old Tom? Tom was obviously a fun-loving chap. You know, singing, joking. He wouldn't have wanted us to sit in his pub and not have a drink. Do you know, you're absolutely right. To Tom. Cheers. Ah, just in time. Just in by name, just in by nature. Oh, whiskey, yeah, good idea. Justin. Tommy, old uh, bugger, how are you? Still making that awful racket in the name of music, eh? Justin, he's, uh... Uh, do you want to, uh, well, I don't know, do you want to come over and have a quick drink? I mean, it'll have to be a quick one, cos it's way past closing time and I, I should... Uh... No, I... I don't think so. OK, OK, yeah, of course. I mean, can't have you breaking the law. <laughs> no, I've got a much better idea. Why don't you go and shut the pub up and then come back here for a nightcap? Well, fantastic, yeah. Well, uh, great, I mean... Um... Well, I'll, 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 uh, I'll see you in a minute. OK. He's the best carpenter we ever had. Works on the estate for 37 years. Morrissey told us not to call the doctor. Uh, Tom hated doctors. And dentists, too. Had the worst fitting false teeth you ever saw. <sighs> Tom Glover. Fielding Prize, Rising Cricket Club, 1939. Yeah, there he is, look. 1936. Hmm. There's Stanley Decker. He used to be a gamekeeper on the estate. Blimey, half the team's called Decker. Brothers. The other four were, were killed in the war. Oh, I'm sorry I'm so late. We, uh, we had a puncture. Um... Oh. Tom's... He just went quiet. Was Mr Morrissey here? No, he's, uh, going to find his Land Rover. Right. Drinks all round. Two of us. 
Terry, Justin, Ronald, uh, I need to ask you a favor. made this bench. He used to sit here with Daisy when they were sweethearts. Look. After she died, he used to come up here to be with her. Headstones and graveyards were the other things that Tom didn't have much time for. What we just done, is it legal? Who knows? Who cares? You couldn't make it up here the last couple of years. Old bugger, too old. He's here now. They can find him here. God. Makes you feel glad to be alive. With respect. You know, I find pylons curiously beautiful. Yes, I suppose they are. Any pylons? Pylons won't last. They are right, Mr. Morrissey. They won't. Yeah, I think that's what I like about them. Marching off into the distance like that. Never to return. They haven't changed the landscape. They can't. They never will. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 